What's up? How are you guys today? We are taking a look at Lean Beef Patty, who is a very popular fitness influencer to say the least. Over 6 million followers on TikTok. A lot of people find her attractive, very fit, in shape, muscular abs, and she's got almost 3 million on Instagram. So by far one of the most popular people in the fitness industry. And the main point I'm going to make here is that females do not look like this without the use of hormones. So we'll get into that a bit later. But you know, a while ago, I wanted to do a video about women getting bulky when they lift weights. And girls like this are why women think that sometimes, which we kind of need to debunk. Uh, so we're going to see what she eats in a day. Good morning. I just woke up like five minutes ago, came downstairs to make some coffee no. and got some water. I didn't drink all of this right now. This is just left over from yesterday. And I so conventional coffee and water is, I mean, dousing your stomach with fluoride, toxins, pollutants, just really, really bad for you. That's very basic stuff. 101, you know, drinking regular plastic bottled water and hey, if you need coffee, maybe some things in your diet and lifestyle aren't correct because you really should be able to just wake up and go throughout your day without the caffeine. I am counting the coffee. Last time I made all you can eat, I mean, <laughs> all that I, <laughs> what I ate in a day, somebody made a comment and said, coffee's a liquid, you don't eat coffee, I eat coffee. You're just not having coffee the way I have coffee. No, I'm just kidding. I just have enough coffee where it makes a dent in my caloric intake, so I'm counting it. It's something. And then I'll be refilling this later in the day. I'm not one of those people that takes track of the water they drink in the morning. I don't have a certain amount of water I drink every morning. I just felt like I needed water, so I'm drinking water. Ah, refreshed. This is actually monk fruit. It says stevia, but I, I just like this container, so I refilled it. I'm kind of on a plastic issue right now, though, so I should probably get a non-plastic. Plastic issue? <laughs> Why would she bring that up after touting her giant plastic jug of water? At least she acknowledges it. Container. But this is what I have for now. Monk fruit. So I have a large mug. And if you guys are unfamiliar with the plastic, you know, the amount of chemicals, endocrine inhibitors would be made up for if you were using synthetic hormones. Hypothetically, people on steroids don't really worry about the plastic as much because they're supplementing testosterone artificially. I can't really see what that is. At least it's organic. And if you go really, really high quality with the coffee, it's not the end of the world. You know, if you're using filtered water, organic biodynamic coffee beans, high quality organic cream or organic sugar, that's fine. But, you know, she's adding a few chemicals here and there that is definitely not good. recently acquired a scale to measure foods. Um, do I recommend that everybody uses a scale or tracks their food to that degree? No. Some people will take it too far and it's just not healthy. I've, I can, don't worry about me though. <laughs> Some people will take it too far and it's not healthy. Well, judging by your knowledge, your energy, and the amount of time you've been doing this, you know, kind of gifted on the genetic end, just goes in the gym, looks like that. Everybody likes the way she looks when 90% plus of people will never look like this regardless of how strict they are because they don't have the knowledge or the drugs or the commitment. So I am going to do one serving, 170 grams. I'm sweaty right now if you can't tell i was running around for a second not actually she, running she's a but, little obnoxious you know, figuratively 
Okay, so this is Lucerne Dairy Farms Greek Plain Non-Fat Yogurt. You know, when you go dairy, especially eggs, at least organic, ideally you're going to a local farm. So, you know, mainly to reduce the chemicals, the negatives, and, and that's the real main problem with most people's diets, the bad things. It's not necessarily that they don't have enough nutrients. It's that all the negative stuff, the chemicals, the plastics, tax the body's nutrient stores, which means then you need more anyway. Okay, when, it went a little bit over, but it's fine. Oh! I just hit my tooth. That's really scary. One time I chipped my front tooth on a peach. She eats, uh, she eats like me. Bites her teeth on the metal. I am a sensitive baby. And then one serving of honey. Now what's crazy is the difference between the store-bought stuff and the farm stuff is like kind of bad versus Yum. the highest quality probiotic you can get. I just finished my yogurt. <laughs> Essential amino acids. Gorilla mine. Code beef. This is actually my first time having this flavor. I We did a video on the collagen a week or two ago and amino acids kind of same thing. It's laboratory processed chemical feedlot waste and you shouldn't consume it. And if you really do want extra amino acids, then you just want a high quality collagen or bone broth. I had the peach mango one previously. Wasn't really my favorite, but I like this flavor in the pre-workout slash nitric. So we'll see. This is a fresh canister. So I got to fish out the scoop. Something's in the way. No, God, please mm. no. I'm going to do one scoop. I that much powder by volume of a chemical, very, very bad to be taking every day. Very bad. Missed. So talented. I mean, clearly sponsored. She's getting paid, oh, yeah. so... And she definitely hasn't done this before. You know, these people are so two-faced and the marketing and sponsorships. And it, it's hilarious that when they make these day of eating videos, it's so, so, so obvious that like they're not in their comfort zone. They didn't really do this before. Because if this was like a proven healthy diet and things you've been doing, like, you know, the, the days of eating I make, I mean, you have information to share. Yeah, this flavor is way better. The other, the mango peach flavor, or whatever it is, I actually like it in the pre-workout, but for some reason, for the EAAs, it was just not sitting well with me. So, lemon lime, delicioso. Hibiscus mint sparkling tonic. This is my first time having this. This is just for enjoyment. This doesn't make any sense. Is, is she sponsored by this? Enjoyment. Contains 1% juice. Sus. Well, at least it's organic. <laughs> <laughs> Not very good, but I'm gonna finish it. Got my chicken. Sprayed the pan with pan. Oh God, look at that pan. Red pepper flakes. And someone was telling me I should season it like out. It's like falling apart too. Like the handle shaking. side of the pan so I get it better seasoned. I don't care that much. Ooh. Salt. Who does this? Like chops up the chicken, puts it in the pan, and then seasons it. Like 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 that's the I've never seen anyone do that. It's so weird. I mean I mean the, the chili is a little hard on the liver. Uh, conventional regular chicken is very, very bad. Very bad. I mean, any conventional meat is so full of chemicals and bad for you, but chicken is probably one of the worst. There's not really any, like, certain kind of seasoning that I use. I just look inside my cabinet and decide on a whim. Italian! Mamma mia! That's a tasty chicken. Okay. Yeah. Let that 
she probably actually just eats out every day, like goes to Chipotle, gets the typical bodybuilder bro science meals. Cook up. It's done. Okay, the final product that I scrounged together, six ounces of chicken. Yeah, and six two ounces of seasoning. Because it tastes like barbecue crap. sauce, a cup of Not only is it bad for you, it's and nasty. the rest of my triscuits, which is about six. Bum ba da bum. Triscuits. One serving of triscuits. This is like <laughs> bro science bodybuilder low carb. And I guess one of the biggest myths is that the toxins are stored in the fat of the animal, but they're actually stored in all the tissue, the protein, the fat, the organs. So even when people think they're eating lean chicken breast that, oh, there's no toxins in it. No, there are. There, there's a lot of toxins in it, uh, maybe almost as much as those Triscuits and conventional GMO glyphosate chemical filled wheat processed with chemicals preservatives it's just such a bad carb source getting ready to go to the gym it's benching today got my water and my nitric because i have a lot of coffee as we have seen one scoop i want two scoops but i'm running awfully low yikes So I was actually going to make a natural pre-workout supplement, but after doing research, even on like the high quality organic, you know, ancestral alternatives, the nitrates are so bad for your liver and kidneys. I, I could not ethically sell something like that, that people would be consuming every day. And that combined with the creatine, the protein, the drug usage and bodybuilding, that's part of the reason these people are having kidney failure, organ failure, all these health issues. So, so, so young. This stuff is not healthy to do every day. And if you need the caffeine, the nitric oxide for your workout, do something else. Do something else. F fix the rest of your diet. Fix the lifestyle. Get some better sleep. You shouldn't have to do this. You know, take some B vitamins. B vitamins are so much healthier. Yummy. Just finished. My workout, it was an okay workout. I benched, did some benching accessories, uh, did she the Stairmaster for me. 30 minutes. I feel like she could crunch me for basketball. for 20 minutes, and then, or maybe it was six. Six or seven for 20 minutes, and then two for 10 minutes, and then stretch. Uh, like, let's be realistic. She sounds like the typical airhead, hasn't much of a clue what she's talking about. Sounds like she does whatever the hell she wants in the gym. And definitely doesn't know what she's eating. And she looks like that. You know. What's the likelihood she's not taking anything? When she looks she looks better than 90% of people in the gym. 95. Even 99. You know. I pulled my hamstring. So I'm really suffering. But now I'm going to have this. Bear Bells. Protein bar. This is a new flavor. I, I mean a new flavor for me. I've never tried it before. I don't know what. So have you tried anything? Because normally when you want to make a day of eating video, that's going to be seen by hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people and influence them to do similar things. Maybe, maybe you should, you know, have some tried and true things. And the reason I actually started making the best bars, the organic rice crisp bar, the chewy, all that stuff, the pemmican is because I would go in the supermarket and I, not one of the bars was decent. Yeah. Yeah. There's a few okay ones that like I would eat if I absolutely had to, but still usually full of vegetable seed oils and low quality stuff and that's with me picking the best ones the one she's having that's not even organic oh, i can't imagine that would destroy me i wouldn't sleep for weeks creamy crisp is supposed to mean so i don't know what it's even supposed to taste like but it looks good it looks extra crispy it's coconut i think tastes like coconut I like it. You know, I don't know. I don't see coconut flavor anywhere in here, but it tastes like coconut to me. I'm pretty hungry. Like extra crisps at the top. Okay, I just took a shower. Uh, while I wait for my hair to dry, I guess let's talk about some things. 
I do track and measure a lot of my food, not all of it. Like if I'm out at a restaurant or something, obviously I'm just going to eyeball that. The measuring and that type of crap is so funny to me when you're eating Triscuits and random protein bars. It's just the IFYM, if it's your macros, it's just this like big campaign to keep people sick and not get them to understand that food quality is really important. And the main barrier is, oh, I don't want to spend more money, so yeah, it can't be good for me. Let me just measure out half a Pop-Tart. Do I think everybody should be tracking and measuring to the degree that I do that? Not necessarily. For some people, it can be very helpful. I think a lot of people either over or underestimate how much they're eating. So tracking, at least even for a little while, can be pretty beneficial just so that you actually see how much you're eating. Because if I don't track, I'd probably not get enough protein but i might get a lot of carbs and a significant amount of fat just because naturally i'm going to gravitate towards basically just eating like I mean, cake if i was just going to eat how i eat i wouldn't eat I a lot think of protein I take another three so minutes of i tracked him so i'm debating between having one of these turkey stuffed bell peppers but i feel like that's not fun <laughs> Because I didn't make it. But I don't want to make anything. I want to have his chicken. <sighs> gonna... Yeah, we know you don't actually cook anything. We know you don't. We know you go to Chipotle or something every meal. Make something. This apple in the meantime. Uh, I found this pasta that I forgot that I bought like a really long time ago. I actually am not. Pasta that she bought a really long time ago for her. What I eat in a day. Not a fan of pasta, but when else am I gonna eat it, you know? So, pasta! <laughs> it's literally like she's never cooked before, and now she has to film a day of eating, and she's just digging up random crap out of her pantry. At this point, I decided I was gonna do a voiceover, but right here, I had forgotten to press record. I was so upset. So here, I'm making the sauce. I used two ounces of Greek yogurt, some parsley like and some a, a Italian ghetto seasoning. Tzatziki sauce. <laughs> then I started to prepare some vegetables. Had garlic and broccoli. I think it was like four ounces of broccoli. If I do believe correctly. It was like low-key a lot of broccoli though. I didn't measure in a cup. I measured on the scale. I cooked that in the pan. I just put some salt on it. Just cooked it in the pan. Then my pasta. Do you guys know how bad those salt grinders actually are? Like, are they grinding plastic into the food? I've av always avoided them because I've heard that, but have haven't tested it myself. It was done, so I combined it in the sauce, added some nutritional yeast. We did a video on nutritional yeast a few years worth. ago now. Just take these vitamins. Mix that in. I don't think it would have made a difference if I mixed that in before or after, but I just happened to remember it after. Then I combined the vegetables and the chicken and mixed all of that together. I guess you don't- Look, as an Italian, a little a little broccoli raw with some garlic and pasta, ooh. But she butchered it, she butchered it. I would not, I would not want this. Uh, it's honestly, it's, it's not that bad of a meal compared to what the average standard in American dieter eats. But I mean, it's not good for your liver because it, the, of the chicken and the broccoli. If this was actually just like ground beef, and pasta, even though conventional, I wouldn't be as against it, but again, when you're not going organic, you have all the, the toxins and the chemicals in it, when you're not eating quality food, it's just, it's too hard to get over that hump. You don't have to mix it if you don't want and it doesn't really make a difference. Then I enjoyed, and it was scrumptious. Another note I would like to add is I feel like a lot of people believe that tracking is inherently restrictive, which is not the case because it's kind of getting late right now. And if I had been left to my own devices, I would have just gone to sleep, but I haven't eaten quite enough today. So if I wasn't tracking, I would have just not eaten enough you see what i'm saying anyway i'm making a smoothie or a protein shake if you wanna when you eat quality food 
and go according to your appetite, if you work out, your body composition will naturally get to where it is. So you can make whatever you want as long as there's protein, fat, and carbs in the meal, as long as it's all high quality and you eat to your appetite, you're going to look good and you're going to feel good. The reason these people need to do this seco calories in, calories out nonsense, track everything and restrict everything is because the food's low quality, they're deficient in nutrients, their bodies are full of toxins, and their natural appetite and satiation is so thrown off. They don't have a choice. Call it that. I also got this recently. Yeah. The macros on it is it's like basically heavy cream, but I'm really interested in it and I feel like it will make my smoothie a little bit better. It's rose water yogurt drink. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna make this better, but I like the taste of it on its own. I actually did decide to add a little bit. Literally every single thing in this video is random stuff she found in her pantry that she has to use for the day of eating because she didn't go shopping apparently. Rose water heavy cream. Yeah, I'm sure you eat that every... It's... I'm trying to make this thick and creamy, but I can never do it right. Anyway, this is half a banana, a bunch of ice cubes. They were all weird sizes, so it's like seven, but some of them were like this big. Um, one scoop of vanilla protein powder and a little bit of this and then a little bit of water. We'll see. It's really very delicious. Much better than my ones made with just water and banana and protein powder. Pretty good consistency. Kind of like a milkshake, but not quite so sweet. Wow, that was enlightening. <laughs> I'm glad I wasted 20 minutes of everyone's time for this nonsense. Hey, look, the least they could do is put a little bit of effort into it. You know, it's absolutely insane. Like she didn't even go shopping. She didn't put anything together. She didn't try to act or sound like she knows what she's doing. Literally just minimal effort. But I guess that's the attitude you have when you have like 10 million followers on all your platforms and have everything handed to you. I mean, she only has a few sponsorships, does have a very large following. I mean, I can't imagine she's making a crazy amount of money just from the ad revenue, but she does sell the gym program. So I'm, I'm sure that a lot of people are trying to look like her, despite her probably taking performance enhancing drugs, having zero clue what she's doing and looking like that. So I think most of the recent day of eating reviews for the most part have all had this similar thing where they don't actually eat normal foods and cook for themselves. They just go out and eat all the time. So when they actually have to do the video, it, it's so fake and obvious that it's not what they actually do. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, I don't really think this needed any explaining, but I'm, sh I'm sure she has tons and tons and tons of people that are listening to her and following her that think they're going to look like this. <laughs> You're not going to look anything like this eating this diet. But you guys can go to frank if you'd like to check out all of my businesses and support me. And as usual, oh, you know what? We should see what the comments are real quick. What I really like about Patty is that she's authentic and very down to earth. She's like a good friend that you didn't meet yet. Kind of refreshing because fitness community is filled with drama and BS. That's a real comment. Definitely a real comment. 100% real person, not a robot. Real refreshing to see a bodybuilder who eats a diet that is flexible and sustainable as it is healthy. How is eating chicken breast and triscuits flexible and sustainable or healthy? Oh my god. Uh, who knows how many follow who knows how many of her followers and viewers are real or fake at this point, but I think we've gotten the point across. If you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, as I said, guys, check out frank-defile.com. Thanks for supporting me and I'll see you guys for the next video.